Hey guys! So first of all, I want to thank so many of you who watched my first video. Um, this is kind of a follow-up from that first video, so if you didn't see that first video, I'll make sure I'll link it right here for you guys. At first, I really wanted to just like jump right into the footage that I have of our trip to Japan, but the more I thought about it, the more I really wanted to share beforehand. I'm always afraid that people are going to click off when someone just starts like jibber jabbering on beforehand and when they want to just see the footage but I know that those of you who watch my videos and those of you who care will listen to me <laughs> before so the support that I received after that first video was so encouraging to me and it made the trip so much more exciting that you guys were excited for us. As of filming this part right now we have been home for about a week and a half. The first week home was full of really, really bad jet lag, but I am thankfully over it, so I am finally able to work on this video to share with you guys. So many of you have told me how you're excited to see the footage from our trip to Japan, and I am really excited to share it. So, as I've thought about it, and as I've prepared this footage for you guys, I've really thought about how I want this to come across and how I want to tell the story with this vlog. For those of you who aren't within the YouTube community, you may wonder what vlog is, and I always like to explain a vlog is a video blog, so it's just kind of like a blog post, but it's with video, and that's the terminology used on YouTube. But this vlog is not just a vlog, it's also a kind of journal entry for me, and I really wanted to focus on making it something super memorable. When I go on trips, I try to journal, but I never have the time for it, and so what I take pictures of and what I share from my memories um, as they're fresh and new right now is really how I'm going to hold and keep my memories because I'm going to forget stuff. It's not all going to be fresh like it is now, so I really want to be able to capture that and captivate that to the best that I can. So I would love to like just shoot all the vlogs out and just post all my footage that I got, just like clip it together for you guys real quick so you can see it. But I really, really wanna focus on making sure it's something that I'm really pleased with. I really want to be able to work on it and then be able to look back and say that really captured like how we felt, what we were going through and how it was. Um, while we were there. There's a lot of aspects to it that um, I felt like I needed to explain that I didn't get to explain because I was so much in the moment. So the videos are going to contain me uh, after the trip kind of explaining a couple of things with a voiceover um, or video of my face like this and then the other footage is obviously going to be me explaining in Japan. So it's going to kind of be like a back and forth thing I think. But that's I think the best way that I'm going to tell the story. So I would show videos of me vlogging on the trip explaining what we were doing but I would also if I were with you guys in person talk to you more about what the pictures meant to me, what the video meant to me and that's what I really want to convey um, with this style of video. So these Japan videos are going to be be my project that I'm going to be working on and I cannot tell you how many parts, I cannot tell you how long it's going to be, but I will be explaining things as I go along and I may be posting other videos that aren't related to Japan just because I would like to be still sharing videos um, even if I'm not fully finished with every part of Japan. So I hope you guys are cool with that. Life can be busy so I can't, like I said, I can't promise you that they're all going to get out like really really soon but I am working on them and I want to share them as soon as I can so they will come out as quickly as possible <laughs> so like I said if you guys watched my very first video that I made sort of the pre-trip video um, I actually concluded it with us landing in Japan and I uploaded it while we were in Japan so for the beginning of this video very little footage but basically showing you guys got up and we were at LAX, um, ready for our flight at 11 in the morning, and then we were going to be flying for about 10 and a half, it ended up being less than 10 and a half hours, so landing in Japan at about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. You made it! You we're made here! It. <laughs> <laughs> that was the longest plane ride any of us had taken, the longest we've ever taken was about like six and a half hours either to Florida or Hawaii so this was almost double so that last the last like two hours of the flight were pretty killer <laughs> we just like watched a lot of movies and tried to keep ourselves distracted while we were sitting in the same spot for that long so <laughs> Once we landed, customs were really crazy. It took us over an hour to wait in customs. Waiting to get our Japan Rail Pass and they found the first vending machine. First one. 
<laughs> the reason why we're really excited in the scene is because we've heard so much about vending machines and we were just like really excited to finally see them in person in Japan. So this was like the first Japan experience thing that we had been looking forward to. So ice cream vending machine, but look at how unique these flavors are and what they are. It's vitamin. Let's vitamin. Look at this. Let's vitamin. That's what we're talking about. Yes. Right Let's vitamin. Yes. Amino value. Hey guys, so I don't know how this vlog is gonna turn out. I don't know if I'm gonna like talk throughout it or if I'm gonna do artsy stuff. I don't know, but um, we made it to the airport and we got finally got connected to the Wi-Fi. Like we don't have data here, we can't make phone calls except for mom and only a few minutes. Um, but we yeah, it's like it's so oh my gosh, it's so hard. So we finally got Wi-Fi so I can find directions to where exactly we're staying. Um, and then AJ is getting our you can't see but our JR pass over there so he's waiting in line for that and then mom and Sammy whoop, are waiting at Starbucks and we're just waiting so we're we're getting the passes and then Sammy just bought uh, some onigiri or well because what are these called musubi oh musubi that's right yeah I was at onigiri but musubi yeah it's just egg and spam but we wanted to eat a little something because it's one o'clock our time it's five o'clock here, so it's we're like all midnight. Jacked up. Midnight snack or dinner? Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it was two hundred and twenty in. Focus, camera, focus. Goodness gravy. I need to eat. Yeah. No waiting for Sammy. She must eat it now. What's it taste like? Really good. Yeah. <laughs> After this footage, we ended up waiting another almost hour waiting for AJ to get us our real pass. We were staying at a Airbnb place, so I ended up getting the directions to the place that we were staying at, and it ended up being really late by the time that we got home. We even had to figure out that our real passes would only work for the JR lines which we kind of were familiar with, but we didn't really know what that meant. So when we found the directions and realized we had to get a Passmo, we had to get the Passmo, and then realized how much money we had to put on the Passmo. And anyway, it, it's all that part that like we thought was gonna be removed through the JR Pass and learned a lot about, which AJ and I are gonna share about much later. <laughs> We were lugging our luggage onto the trains, onto the bus, all the way um, to the apartment that we were staying at in Ikebukuro. So we were like dead. Focus, dude. I look exhausted. So does mom. I'm so tired. That's because I am exhausted. Oh, I'm so tired. So we made it. We're here in our place in Japan. Um, it's 9:45 at night on Tuesday, and it's like 5:45 in the morning. At home so we feel we've been up for a long time just taking naps for like the past 24 hours so we're all tired but dad and Sammy and AJ are hungry and so they have to go to the convenience store to get food so I can't miss out on that so I have to go with them but let me show you guys our little place so this is the living room that's the hall and that's the bedroom mom and dad are staying in and that's the bedroom AJ and I are staying in and this is the kitchen the end wasn't that a beautiful house tour huh yes yes it was <laughs> all right let's go get some food <laughs> so convenience stores in Japan are very different. That's kind of why we're walking into it excited. They all look very similar to like a 7-Eleven kind of thing, but they're very unique because they carry basically what a little tiny grocery store would. Just like vending machines, we were really excited to see the konbini or convenience store. <laughs> Oh. Wow. Oh, look at it. Someone saw it. 
Look at how tiny. This is my size. This is my size ice cream. Yes. It's coffee juice. Need. Tasty lemon, Sammy. Oh, yeah. For 140 yen. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, my goodness. I want to bring her back a yummy pot. Banana. Strawberry. Melon pot. Oh, my goodness. All of the goodies. I'll take that and that and that and one of those and two of those and. <laughs> The thing that makes the convenience store, the Komini, the most unique is that they have ready-made food. Most of the time, the cashier will even ask you if you'd like them to heat up your food for you. Several of our Japanese friends who we talked to while we were out there said that they love the Komini food. So it's not like America 7-Eleven where you wouldn't dare eat one of those hot dogs. They actually have pretty good food. Mm. Like the chubby corn dog. Aye. The desserts look good too. It's day one in Japan. I'm gonna be vlogging with my phone I think some of the time because it's kind of rainy today so I don't want to have my camera look at it Woo, so we're getting ready to go and head out for the morning day um upload time is excellent like being able to upload videos and stuff is going to be no problem as long as we're at home and we have the pocket wi-fi so that'll be awesome so i'll probably be able to post footage i don't know if i'm going to post this or whatever but just letting you guys know it's really so much better than our last trip to like walt disney world where like the hotel just had like virtually nothing so all right we're gonna go into town <laughs> we got our tiny elevator that we all just barely fit in. Tiny elevator. No elevator, stop it. Yeah, I, I don't like you that much, elevator. You guys are <laughs> quick with doors. They are. Yeah. Yeah. No dilly dally. No oh, dilly dally. <laughs> well, this this elevator hates me because when I try to get out, it just like rams itself into my shoulder. <laughs> oh, yeah, it goes. Because you don't move that. Size you my shoulders. You gotta get this tiny down. This is a good one. Yep. It's all organized yeah. chaos. Those trains, Shouldn't we though? see foreigners here somewhere? Because I haven't seen any but us. Yeah, well, we're... Where? Here. I'm like surprised. In, once we got on the train... You have to get into the here, city. I did not see... I saw like one or two, but... Yeah, I look at myself and I say... We're kind of on the outskirts, so we have to go into like, the main city You can tell that Asian foreigners... We took a long bus ride to the location that we were trying to get on this day and it was probably one of the coolest traveling experiences on the whole trip. There were quite a few scenic areas we got to see on the train but this bus ride was really cool to go through the streets of Tokyo. Looking back this was definitely one of the smoother more enjoyable rides that we took on any transportation while on this trip. Going to a place called Nakano Broadway. It's like a hobby store. Oh, <laughs> let's go inside. Found some UFO machines. Got some it. Got your own. Monster Hunter. 
I found a Tsuma Tsuma game! I saw a My Kawai family play this on their channel one time and I was like, I have to do that when I when I go, so. So do it. They have Lulu and Stitch ones, special ones, so it'd be really cool if I got those, but I'm not gonna keep my hopes up because I never get the good ones when I actually play the game, so. Let's play. Yeah, jewelry. It's like the game. It's gonna be so hard. It's like. Yeah. Where is your just like. Oh, pause it. Charter. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's so cute. Uh, no, you turn. Getting her first Nick Watson toy in the gotcha. That's weird. That's weird. What? There it is. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Oh. You gotta put your hand. No, there's just two in there, so now they're stuck. There she got it. Yay! Yay, I got two. I got the policeman. So that means I got the train. Yay! And this one. Oh! It's so cute! Yay! Maybe it was too big to come out, maybe that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this one hit that one or... Oh yeah, the different sizes, I think the little one got stuck, so uh. this one came out and pushed it back. Oh. Yay. Let's go inside. Into the toady gates. Oh. Are you? <laughs> it's just a little too tall for that. Mom and Dad went to McDonald's because they don't have any seating around Japan. Like, it's not common. They don't put Sim cubes in because they don't want you ordering. So, yeah. So, there's not a lot of seating for Mom and her foot. So, we're just um, shopping around. And a lot of places, they don't really want you filming inside. So, I haven't been filming. But they have really, like, fun stuff. I found a little rhino figure. I think it's probably in a gossip home or something like that. But, yeah. It's cool. been in Nakano Broadway and then we got lost and we're trying to find the McDonald's to meet for lunch. So we just ate and I wanted to show you guys but I'll probably show you guys another time. Look at his hat. Look at Sammy's little toy. It's a conductor hat. With a whistle? I think he's a policeman. Did you hear, did you hear we were walking down the street? It's a little whistle when it was okay across the street. That's the What do you think it is, honey? It's a conductor. What is it, Sammy? It's like a policeman type thing. He came out. I'm on Sammy's side. I think that is a police officer. They don't go together. They play in different ways. See? Tells you. 
I was gonna get something that we usually get, a CC lemon. First vending machine experience. Got it documented, it's so important. It's so cute. Does it taste the same? I want some. Oh, so dad thinks we went in here, but we see stuff that we haven't yet. So we're gonna go in and explore. It is different, we didn't see stuff in here. So we're gonna go in and look. That's where we're getting our coins. Look at these little machines. They're like made for like little kids down here. <laughs> Right outside the bowl. <laughs> One of the hardest things so far about traveling is that we like to split up apart and That's we knew. Can take these off. What? I just realized why you can take this wrapper off yeah, so easily. You have to recycle them here. Recycling so different. Yeah. They import them in our in America, but we we're like, why do you have to? Why we don't do that. We just peel off throw it like, off in the trash. American bottles where it's like, it yeah, just comes right off. Look at that. Perfect. Ta-da! Ta -da. But what is it? <laughs> she's totally interrupting you. That's Bye. okay. She was distracted by her cool CC lemon bottle. I suddenly realized. She said, <laughs> that, that took you a while. I already knew that. <laughs> I was gonna say the hardest, th one of the hardest things is that we don't have Wi-Fi here. And if we do have, what? I had, I had a, what did you say? Relevation. Oh, relevation. Relevation. No, relevation. <laughs> The good dinosaur. <laughs> Relevation, yeah. We don't have Wi-Fi, we have a pocket Wi-Fi, so if we're near AJ, this is, we call it the hub. If we're near that, if we're near that we, we can use um, the Wi-Fi and then we like have it and it's really strong, but when we're away from each other, we literally have no way of contacting each other. Like, mom has minutes, but like that's for if she needs to call home. Otherwise, like she doesn't, we cannot. So dad went to, mom and dad went to a restaurant so dad could eat like down where it's still Nakano. And it's like, there's like endless amount of aisles and restaurants down the aisles. Like we have no idea which restaurant he's in. So we're like, oh, we'll go into the arcade and then we'll go spend time there and you guys can come back, which I was like, that's not a good idea, but that's just what we decided. And so <laughs> now we're out of the arcade and there's not much we want to play or anything in there. So we're just sitting waiting for them to come back for us after dad's eating, who knows where, so. It's kind of a bummer, but I guess we're just enjoying sitting here. I wanted to tell you guys while we were walking down, I got a message from my cousin in Hawaii, and um, I haven't talked to her a lot, but we got to meet this last time I went into Hawaii, and she sent me a message um, about the video that I posted, my uh, pre-trip our story video about Japan, and um, it was really cool. I was super touched, like super emotional, because um, uh, her mom is my dad's half-sister by a different mother. So the grandfather I was speaking of in my video is also her grandfather. It's like, we're totally the same in, in that aspect. And so what she got to share and stuff was really cool. It's cool like to have family like that, that understand and can be disappointed with me and not being able to meet him. She knows, you know, if we can't meet him out here, then she probably won't be able to meet her grandfather ever either. So it's really cool to be able to interact with people and have family like that and stuff like that. So I was, I wanted to share that with you guys. It was really cool. Oh. What you eating there? Tayaki. What? <gasps> That's the destination. Oh, that lighting is terrible. Is that the destination? Okay, okay, yeah. That's right. Oishii desu ka? So yeah, we should go walk down. Trying to get back to the hotel.
In the train station, sweets galore. Am I in heaven? <laughs> What's that from, Sammy? Oh man, it's from Rugrats in Paris. <laughs> wow. Look at me. Wow. I just went down the stairs. Oh. Oh, it's Kanki no Kuniya. It's a bread store. Or, uh, oh my gosh. Whoa. If we walk there. Wow. Manapua. Oh, look at all the dumplings. Manapua. So Japanese people are foodies to say the least. We soon learned that the main train stations had sections like this where they had food and what it's for is for people who are on their way home or going to work, whichever way, and they just need food to go. They don't have a lot of restaurants that allow you to get their food to go, but they have places like this specifically for that. <laughs> Losing his mind. His mind is about to explode. Oh, Dad. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. You're seeing. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Dad keeps saying he wants to eat something, but now he has too many choices. Because there's like 10 bajillion things that he would like to try. <laughs> Just took a short walk oh, across that bridge over there. We are, our place is down that way. So we walked over this bridge, and now we're gonna go over to Dan Kyo Oh, they're the Instax. <laughs> Oh, they have the oh they have these little ones. Shoot, I should have brought my camera. I might have to grab one of these to take home. Cute. This is your kind of store, huh, Daddy? Yep. Yeah. All the things, all the bags. So nice in here. All the bags, fancy. Fancy schmancy. This displays so pretty. Oh. Contacts. Wow, look at how many different ones. Sammy section. All the lashes. All the lashes. Wow. Shoes. Shoes. <laughs> These all look small to me, Sammy. That's kind of weird. Perfect. I think we're finally where we belong where we can buy things in our sizes. These are cute. <laughs> Look at a fake microphone. That's pretty realistic. Wigs. What are these? Oh. 
Oh, look. And the Minecraft ones, how funny. AJ says don't forget to vlog, so I'm vlogging. I'm showing you all the candy of all the things, see? Yeah, you can try Chupa Chups. Look at all of the things and all of the food. And I'm really tired. But look at it all. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so, so far, there's two major things that are really challenging about being here. Number one is being quiet. Not on the public transportation, that's, that's easy. But like being at home or at the place we're staying at, like the host asked us to be quiet and be courteous to our neighbors and stuff. And like there's a certain part in the hallway that you're like supposed to keep closed and stuff, but we keep having to like shush each other. And I turned out to be the loudest. <laughs> well, if you look at any of her vlogs, you know that our whole family's loud. Yeah, we're all really loud, but I just like, I'm just like, Sammy keeps like shh, like at me. And so it's, it's much harder than I thought it would be. I, well, I'm, what ends up happening is she goes shh. And then she starts talking really loud. Yeah, she talks really loud. And then too. I'll go shh, and then I'll start talking really loud. Yeah, it's more like that. Yeah, but I think I'm just I, I tend to be more enthusiastic in general, so I come out in like exclamations a lot of the time, and so then they're like, shh, like be quiet. So, and then the other, the second thing that's the hardest for me is walking on the left side. So we walk in, and like they're pretty, pretty good about like just avoiding in general, but they stay on the left side. And so when we're like walking, it's like so my bend to, to go to the right out of the way of people, but they but they go on the left. So it's really it's really really challenging, <laughs> more challenging than I thought it would be. 